Hi guys, today we're going to be making a texture box. So a fun thing about the texture box is it blends together different elements of art and creates a really fun abstract piece of art. What you're going to need for your texture box is a box. Um, you can use a jewelry box or as you can see I made my own out of cardboard and just painted it white. It doesn't have to be white, it can be any color you want. Um, you want to use Elmer School Glue just like you use for any other project you're doing. You want different textures you found around your house. They can be anything that has a different texture. It can be sticks from the backyard, beads, puzzle pieces, pieces of string, anything you can find. Uh, food coloring, I have this really fun gold that I can use. Crayons, and maybe a toothpick or a chopstick or something to stir. So, to get started, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a pattern in the bottom of our box. This is gonna add some color. So a pattern is anything that repeats itself, any sort of design or drawing that repeats itself. So, let's see, I'm just going to put some lines in here. Feel free to get colorful with this. Okay, so we have our pattern in the bottom of our box. Feel free to get as creative as you want with your pattern. It can be any image that repeats itself. You can draw a bunch of little kitty cats. You can draw a bunch of spirals, a bunch of hearts, whatever you want. You never know what you get till it's over. So I'm going to take my textures and I'm just going to dump them in my box. As you can see, I have some brads, some beads, some pieces of wood, some string, and they're just going to sit randomly in my box. I'm not going to worry about arranging them or trying to make them look pretty. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew my glue, and I'm going to just glob some right on top of my textures. And you want a good amount, but not too, too much. So glob my glue on top of my textures and as you can see right now it kind of just looks like a pile of stuff right well the fun thing about Elmer school glue is it looks white but it dries completely clear so when this glue dries we're gonna have a clear bottom we can see through down to our pattern we drew earlier and we're gonna be able to feel and touch every single one of our textures even those itty bitty little teeny tiny pieces you put in there so to make sure that the glue is touching everything in my box, I'm going to use my hands on the outside without putting my fingers in my box, and I'm going to turn and tilt my box until it catches all of those little textures. This also helps spread out your textures. If they're kind of just sitting in a lump in the middle, it helps spread them out and you get a cool design. So I'm trying to cover every corner of my box, but I'm just making sure that I'm catching all of my textures. Okay, so now that all of my textures have been grabbed up by the glue, as you can see, it almost looks like it's completely white, but like I said, this is going to dry completely clear, and we'll be able to see and feel every single thing in our box. So if you are done with it at this point, you can put it to the side to dry, or if you want to add a little bit of color, you can get some food coloring or some acrylic paint and you just want to use a teeny tiny little bit and you're going to want to dribble some into your box. Just a few drops of food coloring because food coloring goes a long way. Once you have a few drops of food coloring in your box, you can use your stir stick to kind of move it around a little bit in the glue. Now this is really easy to overwork. You don't want to move around your colors too, too much because then you have color everywhere and you won't be able to see the bottom. You just want to move it around enough to give it a little pop of color. Alrighty, so 
I'm going to put this to the side and let it dry. It's probably going to take about 24 hours to let it dry or about a day, um, but we'll come back when it's done. It's been a full day and my texture box is dry. All the glue is dry and all of my textures are firmly stuck in my box. So now it's a interactive art project. I can feel all the different textures. I can see all the different pieces I've put in here and I can see how the different textures have reacted with the glue. For example, I put some rock salt in here before it dried and it kind of bubbled and created this foaming effect, which is really cool. So take this opportunity to experiment a little bit do your own project and share your picture of your texture boxes with us on our social media. We would love to see them and share what your inspirations were. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see your projects. Bye-bye.